Hello everyone, this is Andy from Get to the Chopper and I'm back again with another vlog. So today I'm going to be doing another video about something I got through the post and that is the a Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Mini. Um, I've always been umming and erring whether I should get one or not and uh, it went for a decent price and since I'm getting rid of a lot of my uh, Nintendo and like collection I thought I might as well just have something that looks like it on a smaller scale and then I can just put some ROMs on it. <laughs> so anyway, so this is the box and uh, it comes with uh, 30 uh, sort of games and again I'm not encouraging people to sort of add ROMs to it, it does have a nice selection of uh, ROMs. So anyway, I will be talking more about this on the podcast on Sunday but let me just change the camera perspective and then we can see how it actually all plays. Right, so here we are again, this is the, uh, it's un un unboxed, yeah here we go, it's unboxed, I couldn't be bothered to do it really properly unboxing but uh yeah the nes controller is the size of like a normal nes controller uh it feels quite nice actually i love the design they've gone for and uh look at that yeah it's nice it's really kind of hard to describe how tiny it is you know i haven't got incredibly large hands uh, it's just really really small and the box is there uh you know unfortunately i am going to get rid of my um original nes because of just lack of room and stuff like this and things like this i can just store away but we'll talk more about that on the podcast itself. So let's turn this thing on. So it works via USB. It's got like a Wii type controller down there. It's HDMI. Plug that in. So it's just turning on. It's my crappy TV in the gaming room. And there we go. So we've got a choice of games there. So the first game we have there is Bubble Bubble, Castlevania, Simon's Quest, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon 2, love it. Dr. Mario, Excited Bike, Battle Fantasy, Galaga, Ghost and Goblins, Gradius, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, uh, Mario Brothers, Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac-Man, Punch-Out, Star Tropics, uh, Super C, Mario, Mario 2 and 3, Tecmo Bowl, Zelda 1 and 2, Balloon Fight, and then back there. Now, um, not all the games really are for me. I mean, Balloon Fight is alright for just a quick game, but games I will be playing, stuff like Bubble Bubble, Castlevania, and so on. There's a few games that I do like, but I admit, I will be adding a few extra ROMs to it. You know, games that should have been included. Castlevania 3, um, there's so many more. So I've made a little list, somewhere down the line I will talk about that. It's a nice sort of system there, so let's see how good the graphics actually look. And I've got to try and play it with one hand, so apologies. Let's try Castlevania. So I press that there. So I've got to push starts, which is there. God, it's hard to play this with one hand. There we go. Now the graphics are nice and sharp, to be honest with you. They look pretty decent. Now, I have heard some sort of people on YouTube say that the sound is somewhat off. Like the whip sound doesn't quite sound the same on this, to be honest with you. And the graphics look pretty good, actually. I'm happy with it, you know. I think some people will be like, oh, you can't really compare it to something on a CRT. But you know what? Um, I'm not fussed about that, really, because I've already got like a... <laughs> Uh, Sony PVM on its way and um, I will be doing a lot of retro gaming with that as well but this is just to have when I'm downstairs or you know I can just put away or if, if I'm going away I can just pop that in my sort of rucksack and I can just take that to play if I go to London you know somewhere that all fits in nicely really so I'm kind of happy with that so let's have a look so I think we have to reset the um, button there there's nothing on the controller that lets you reset it so let's have a look at some of the display options then. So display option, you've got CRT filter, you've got pixel perfect. CRT filter, I've heard is not that great. I'm gonna try and go for pixel perfect. I think that does it by three by three, so it fills up quite a lot of the screen, so it should look all right. So let's go to back. What's that one? Options. Um, go back. Don't wanna mess around with that language. Legal notes and manuals. Okay, so let's try a different game. A game that I can try and see. I can play this one with um, one hand. Dr. Mario. I can't really see the difference in Pixel Perfect, though, to be honest with you. Love this game. It's one of my favorite games ever. 
really underrated. Oh, I messed that one up. Totally messed that one up. Right, let me try and get like at least rid of this screen. Oh my god, I'm messing this up. It's hard to play with one hand, guys. So let me reset that. Get out of that. Oh, I've turned it off. Press the wrong button. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, just wanted to give a quick sort of video of what this NES sort of classic mini is like. Um, I'm quite liking it. It's really sharp visuals. Of course, you can't beat a CRT sort of like style graphics. And I'll probably do a video on that when my uh, Sony PVM arrives. I've got two PVMs that are arriving tomorrow. So, but unfortunately, those are just composite, not uh, RGB. So uh, for now, I've got, you know, I've got the best of both worlds, really. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Thanks very much. And check out the podcast every second Sunday. And this Sunday, I'll be talking to Paul Monaghan from Maximum Power. Goodbye.